COVID-19 has put sports leagues on hold all over the world. And that's when Sarnia's Joe Rocca decided to hang up his sneakers and retire from professional basketball. At the time, he was averaging 16 points a game with the Georgian Super League overseas. But now he's back in his hometown pursuing, pursuing a career in real estate. And Joe Rocca joins us on the line. Good afternoon. Hey, how's it going? Great. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Why did you decide to retire from pro basketball and come home? Um, this was kind of a couple years in the making. Um, I was playing basketball for so long, uh, playing professionally. I got the opportunity to head overseas. Um, and I started taking my real estate courses while I was playing because, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, basketball and sports is going to end for everybody. And having a backup plan and something that you can jump into uh, was something at the top of my mind. Um, so I started taking my real estate courses while I was overseas. Uh, it was something that I had a passion for. Um, and I knew that when basketball was over, I wanted to, uh, to pursue something else. So um, that's kind of the, the main reason why I, I decided to, to jump right into real estate after my career was over. But you're still young, right? Like 28, yeah. from, according to my notes. I, mean, I imagine you still had quite a few years of playing ahead of you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I, I definitely could have played three, four, five more years if, uh, if I decided to choose to do that. Um, I, I had a few offers to, to go back overseas. Um, but with all the uncertainty that is going on uh, with, with COVID, uh, I decided that now was the time. Uh, I had some other ambitions that I wanted to, to do after basketball. Um, I, I've had an amazing career and a long career and healthy career, which is in, super important. Um, I've learned a lot over my basketball career as well. So um, now that, I mean, I know I have some left in me and I'm, I'm still not um, I'm still not washed up uh, per se, but um, it's it's one of those things that you just have to make tough decisions, and this was one of the decisions that I, I made with uh, with the help of my family and friends. So um, I was again, I was lucky to, to have the career I did, and, and now I'm excited for kind of what's next. And why did you choose real estate? Uh, I've had a passion for it for for a little while now. I mean. I, I always used to kind of drive around town and, and look at houses, and I used to like looking at big houses and kind of what, and that that was kind of like one of the first things where I was like, oh, this is this is kind of interesting. I, I I wonder what a career in this looks like. So I mean, I started doing a little bit of research my first season uh, professionally, um, and then I decided to enroll. I I took a chance. I, it was a little bit of a financial uh, commitment, but. Um, I said, if, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna enjoy this as much as uh, I enjoyed basketball, it's it's something that maybe I can make a career out of after basketball. So, um, yeah, it was just a little bit of piqued an interest in me, and I and I kind of ran with it. Yeah, and I imagine as a as a career athlete, as a pro athlete, you're probably pretty competitive, and I I imagine yeah. that could help you in real estate as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, if it, anybody that knows me knows that my. Uh, my competitive nature is, is pretty high, and uh, some people might call me crazy uh, at a certain point. Um, I think I think I got that from my parents, and it kind of trickled down into my uh, my two brothers as well. So um, we're a little bit competitive, a little bit crazy, some people might say, but um, that's going to help me uh, in my real estate career as well. So, I mean, I'm super competitive, and I'm excited to kind of help my clients in, in the best way possible and do the best job I can as well. And as you mentioned, you started taking your real estate classes while you were still overseas yep. uh, and 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 of course this was happening during covid how did covid change the nature of of the way uh the the georgian basketball league was functioning yeah so it was it was interesting so when we st st first heard about covid it was we didn't really know what it was and and the, the games continued on and uh i mean once they i think uh, an nba player got in and that became more real for us as basketball players so we we started seeing that nba players are getting this and and we're overseas in a country that like is far away from home and um things started getting canceled and leagues started getting canceled so then a little bit of the panic set in and uh, I was over in Tbilisi, Georgia, so that's that's like a 13, 14 hour flight away from 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 Canada. So it was a little bit of a scare for me, and um, yeah. So once we heard about that, we um, I told my team like I think it would be better if okay, you guys kind of got me on a flight and got me out of here because uh, the league was going to get canceled. They had some hope that that maybe they were going to keep it going, but um, I felt in terms of my my comfort, like being comfortable there, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I asked them to kind of get me on a flight and, and get me out of there because I didn't know what this was at that point. Wow. And here you are back in Sarnia starting this next chapter of your life. But as, as we talked about, I mean, you're, you're 28 and you could have still 
kept playing for a while. I mean, I don't know to what degree you're 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 still you you think about a, a career in the NBA or if you would keep playing yeah. in, in Europe. But how did you yeah. know you were ready to leave the game behind? So I mean, for me, I was like, it, it's not like I was having a down year. I, my my numbers were up in every category. I mean, I was scoring a lot. I was rebounding. I was doing all, all the little things in terms of that. And and I knew that. I mean, I could move up. I could continue to move up. But how many more years did I really want to put into to trying to move up leagues and and continuing to be away from family and continuing to to have so much uncertainty in terms of contracts and where I'm going to be playing next. So I mean, for me, it was. I had something on the back burner that I was I was ready to go into, and um, ideally, I'd like to start a family, and, and um, I'd like to kind of continue. We'll get into it, but I'd like to continue kind of my my work with with my brother in, in the Rocket League Basketball Academy, and um, so, so that was a tough decision because any athlete knows that when they feel like they still have something left, and they and they end up hanging them up, it's it's tough, and and it's going to be tough, and there's days that I miss it as well, so. Um, it's just all a process and all kind of uh, trying to accept this new norm that you have and um, and trying something else out, which uh, my real estate career so far has, has got off to a good start. And it's, and it's exciting for me, and I get uh, a high level ex- of excitement that I got from basketball as well. Yeah, and before we go, Joe, you, you haven't left the game completely. You've still got nope. – you, you run a basketball camp for kids. How important <laughs> is it for you to still have a relationship with the game? It's great. Like uh, my brother and I started this in 2017, the the Rocket League Basketball Academy, and um, year after year we're seeing like constant growth, and, and it's exciting because uh, it's our own thing. We started it from from the ground up, and um, just kind of the, seeing the, the the reactions from athletes when when they improve and they're seeing their improvement uh, is something that we will never take for granted. We were we were once young guys young basketball players, aspiring athletes that wanted to, had, had goals and, and wanted to get to a certain level. Um, but what we try to kind of hammer home to all these athletes is take it one day at a time because, I mean, we never – we all always had big goals and we always wanted to make it certain places, but we also had to get over small hurdles. And, yeah. and every day is a new hurdle. Um, you can improve in certain aspects every day, and that's what we try and, and hammer home. And um, if, they can, if they can come to us with a growth mindset at all times and, and we can help them, um, that's amazing. And the only way we can help them is if they give us full effort. Uh, we don't care your your skill level. We don't care anything other than other than are you there to get better and are you there to learn. And if you can give us that, that's all we need, and we can run with it and we can help you develop your game into whatever you want it to, to be. And um, I think that kind of mindset was instilled by my parents, uh, who both played at a high level in uh, Fanshawe. They were both all Canadians, Fanshawe mm-hmm. basketball. And then my brother also played in a few national championship games with the University of Western hockey, the hockey program. So they kind of instilled this mindset into us and. And we've just kind of followed suit. So, um, yeah, the Basketball Academy has been exciting, and, and we look forward to kind of continuing to grow it, in, not only in Sarnia, but southwestern Ontario, and maybe even beyond in the future. Yeah. Well, Joe, it's great to talk to you today. All the best with everything you've got going on, and, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me. That's Joe Rocca, former professional basketball player. He's now doing uh, real estate in his hometown of Sarnia.